Welcome to the Vector Garden channel. I'm Monika Gause. I'm a designer and I'm writing about Adobe Illustrator and other vector graphic topics. In this video I'm going to show you how you can open your old freehand files without having to use Illustrator CS5 or without having to use plugins. At least somehow. So it might save you. To start this, what you need to get is Scribus. You find it at scribus.net and what you need to get is development candidates. So you need to download this version, Scribus 1.5. I have it installed already, so it's this one. And what you can then do is file, open, browse to your freehand files and let's see some of them. So I've got a rather simple one. It's just a spiral and it's freehand 11. That is freehand MX. And we can just open it. There it is. And this one is even directly editable. I can double click it and there are the anchor points. Now to get this into other vector software, you export it as a PDF. File, export, PDF. Simple as that. Let's close this one and take a look at another one. So another one is this one, which is a freehand.9 file. And let's open it as well. And there it is. That looks okay. That looks like the file I created. Again, file, export as a PDF and then you open it in whatever software you want to use. Let's see another one. And we're getting more complicated files here. So this one is rather complicated. And you see there are some issues with it. So obviously Scribus has problems interpreting compound compound paths and doesn't quite read them. But maybe it can still save you because you can then edit that in the other vector software you have. And then we've got this one. And there we see the file is empty because it's just too complicated. It's a lot of objects in here. so. When you've got this kind of files, then maybe Scribus is not the right thing to do and you'll need the Tensai plugin um, and install that in Illustrator or get a copy of Illustrator CS5. So what Scribus can read is down to freehand 7. I've got the freehand 7 file and you see it can open it. I've also got a freehand 4 file, but this one doesn't work obviously. And that's quite normal because it was the same with Illustrator. It could open freehand 7 to freehand 11 or the previous versions could open freehand 4 to freehand 9. So there you have it, a quick tip on how to open your old freehand files and somehow not have to get other software to do that.